Just before kickoff in the New Orleans Saints divisional playoff game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last week, Fox Sports' Jay Glazer reported that Saints quarterback Drew Brees would retire after the season. The news forced an adjustment by the Fox team broadcasting the game. Speculation about Brees' future had circulated all season long. But the new apparent certainty about that future would need to be addressed should the Saints lose, ending their season and Brees' career. Once New Orleans fell behind by 10 points in the latter part of the fourth quarter, lead announcers Troy Aikman and Joe Buck turned their attention to Breeze's legacy. You're sitting on that report the whole game, Buck tells Variety. Because the game was what it was, which was 10 points at the end, you can kind of start to pull the lid off that and get into it. But it's a balance, like everything else is when you're doing a live event. You have to balance the historical perspective with what's happening on the field in front of you. This whole season has been a balancing act for Buck and the rest of Fox's A Team, which covers the network's national NFL broadcast every Sunday in addition to Thursday night football. Having to decide when and how to pivot from on-field action to discussion of a Hall of Fame caliber quarterback's imminent retirement is one of countless conventional challenges they face during a game. But this season, one that for them will end after Sunday's NFC Championship game in which the Bucks will face the Packers in Green Bay, WISC. They're meeting them amid the coronavirus pandemic and the wholesale change it has brought to their work. Like many people, the Fox crew now operates in a remote work world. Meetings are mostly conference calls. They try to eschew Zoom as much as they can. Intel gathering exercises such as visiting practice in the week before a game or going down to the field during warm-ups to buttonhole coaches and players are out of the question. For Buck, one small but tangible difference has been the seating arrangement. Early in the season, he and Aikman were separated in the broadcast booth by a glass partition. After a few weeks, the glass went away. They now sit at a social distance from one another, out of arm's reach. If I know Troy is talking to our producer in the headset with a talkback button down into the truck, and I'm not sure if he's hearing me and I'm making a point that I want him to pick up on, in years past I could grab him by the arm and be like, hey, listen, because I want you to react on this, Buck says. It's a minor thing, but it's something I miss. Aikman, the Hall of Fame quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl winning 90s teams, has spent much of the last three decades at NFL stadiums. That's, that's probably been the biggest difference, there's no fans at the games, he says. So getting in and out of the stadiums is different, it's easier.